Hey guys, this is Jaxer again from FreeAutomechanic.com. Uh, working with the 2005 Jeep Liberty Sport today. And the problem that it was brought in for is the headlights won't turn off. This does not have automatic lights, so they don't turn off by themselves. So if you leave the headlights on, you think you turned it off, or you think that you had automatic headlights, it's just going to run the battery down and cause you a lot of problems. So to fix that, we got to replace the entire multifunction switch. And on this vehicle, it requires both the turn signals and the wiper blade is all in one piece. Let me grab the part here. All right, here's the part. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Anybody that needs to order it. The entire multifunction switch has both the turn signals and the windshield wipers all in one unit. The only thing that it has is two electrical connectors on the back side. There's no bolts that hold this in. The only thing that holds it in is the steering column covers and we're going to get to those right now. There's two bolts that come in from the bottom side and what you'll need is a, a star bit I've just got this multi-bit tool that had different bits inside of it. And it doesn't have a label on it to be able to tell you if it's a T12 or what size it is exactly. Let's just slide that up in here. probably take you longer to find the right size bit than it will to actually do this entire job. One thing you'll need to do is make sure that you have the key out of it so they can come off. So I've got two screws loose. Pops loose, comes right off of there, top and bottom, and then you want to push down, lock it into place so it holds it, and you can see our unit pops right up off of there. You just need to remove the two connectors by squeezing in, push this tab, and you might have to wiggle the wiring a little while you're doing it. same on the other side look the other connector looks a little different but the process is the same you just squeeze in For those you can see it looks a little different but you still just mash on it and it'll pop right loose and then we'll grab our new one we got our new unit just put it back together in reverse order but you want to pay special attention to these two nubs on the bottom those have to line up correctly for it to fit right. They'll go into these slots, one on either side. Put it right in there. It's right in place. Put your connectors back in. Make sure they latch good. We'll do the same on the other side. Hear it snap when it's in all the way. You can pull a little bit on the back just to make sure that you got them in good and solid. Then you just put it back together in reverse order. You make sure you get your top piece in place. And your bottom piece, you want to make sure that you leave room for the slot. And these two little nubs here line up. There's two on either side. They have to line up slide right together. 
See him on the other side. Put your two screws back in and you're good to go. Check out the description below for any additional information that you might need. And uh, I'll see if I can't get the step-by-step -step instructions in there as well, as long as, uh, along with the links to where to buy the part. Thanks for watching.